Irving Kaus is very special. He went by Irving. Irving Kaus was a painter who had grown up in Michigan near a Native American reservation. He was always interested in Native American cultures, and he eventually moved to New Mexico where he founded the Taos Society of Artists. The Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library owns one painting by Kaus, and it's called Reflections. This is part of the series that he did in Taos, New Mexico, working with a pair of Native American models and trying to express what Kaus thought about Native American culture. What we see in Kaus's work is his expectation of that culture, not necessarily what that culture really was. In Reflections, we have one man seated, and he is wearing Native American costume, not necessarily the type of costume that would have been worn by the culture who made these pots. Like I said, Kaus was doing his interpretation of what he expected. And his work was popular. What he painted was what other people expected as well. And it absolutely fed into white culture's stereotypes, their romanticization of native cultures, the idea of the noble savage, and kind of a, a lamentation almost of the loss of that culture. Now, Kaus, working with these models, he had studied anatomy quite well. When you look at the shoulder, for instance, how Kaus has painted the rib cage and back, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to depict the human body. He can do a lot with paint in terms of facial expression, too. We get the sense that this man is really lost in thought. Reflections being the title, that's a, a mental reflection in addition to things like the color highlights and some of the vessels that might be coming from a campfire that you don't see. That's off the canvas's edge. The frame is original, but until June 9, 2011, we were unaware how special it actually is. Tracy Gill of Gill and Lagodich Fine Period and Replica Frames in New York City contacted us after discovering from Kaus's granddaughter and archivist Virginia Kaus Levitt that we owned not only the painting reflections, but its spectacular frame, fabricated by one of his New York makers, Louis Victor, who made frames for Kaus from 1916 to 1919. Described by Virginia Kaus as a beauty, images of our frame were then sent for inclusion in the September 2011 exhibition catalog for Beaux Arts and Crafts Masterpieces of American Frame Design, 1890 to 1920, at the High Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. With Kaus, the images that we see in his work were part of the stereotypical view that Anglo-Americans had, the view that Anglo-American and Anglo-American artists had was that of a disappearing culture, but if you went to the reservations you would see quite clearly that the culture was not disappearing, it was still continuing. The artists that made the traditional bowls had found a market and some of them were very successful businessmen. The two models that Kaus used repeatedly had a years-long relationship with him as professionals. So this was something that Kaus kept doing because he had a market for it. This particular painting was purchased by the Santa Fe Railroad. And the Santa Fe Railroad paid additional money so that they could reproduce the painting in one of their calendars. After that, they sold the painting to the Topeka Art Guild, who kept it for a number of years until in 1979 they made a gift of many, many paintings of which Kaus's reflection was one. So it's part of the Western expansion history, it's part of a native history, it's part of art history, and even though Kaus is not a Kansan, we still have the Kansas connections through the world. Kaus is really special because of his connections to Native American life and to that very specific viewpoint of Native Americans by Anglo-Americans.